I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. I feel like I'm back to the best version of myself ever. And what I mean by saying I'm back and better than ever is, it's like when I was growing up, I was to this certain level, but now I feel like I'm back to finish what I started. I'm back to finish the job I started when I was seven years old because I got away from it. And now I feel like not only am I back, but I'm back and I'm on a journey where it can't be stopped. I'm fulfilling my spiritual destiny and doing everything that I was always supposed to do as a spiritualist when I first began in life. And I feel like I owe it to myself to finish the journey because for so long I've shortchanged myself or I've ran from the life that I was supposed to live. I'm tired of running. I'm going to fulfill my destiny and achieve everything that I'm supposed to achieve because I feel like there's so much more left for me in life for me. There's so much more left in life for me to do and there's so much more left in life for me to achieve. And I feel like I've always shortchanged my ability or shortchanged my activity. And now I feel like I'm living life as my full self and being in my full spiritual control and my full spiritual truth. And I'm going to just continue to tell it and continue to grow spiritually, continue to make myself become the person that I was always meant to be and continue to serve that purpose because I feel like there's a greater life and a greater person that's unfolding that I've never met before. And each day I get closer to that person. And it just feels good to know I can still do it. I can still be active. I can still be outspoken. I can still be the real me. And it gets even deeper because I feel like I put my life on pause for so many years trying to please other people. Now that I feel like it's un it's unpaused and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do, the power feels unreal. The skills feel unreal. But I just want to continue the journey because I'm more excited about it than anything. Then the things I then the thing I learned about life and the thing I learned about the spiritual energy is you have three cycles of energy. You have your inner energy, your outer energy, and your ultimate energy. Your ultimate energy. Your ultimate energy is the thing I showed you that be on your arm. Your inner energy is like the energy that be, for me, is going to sound funny. But my inner energy is the friend thing that be on Facebook. There's two. One is, one is the outer energy. It be at 13 to, it be anywhere from 13 to 9 to 10 to sometimes 11 then there's this other energy that be from 13 to 20 something those are my two inner and outer belief energies then I have my ultimate energy which is the energy around my arm it's at 24 I don't know if that makes sense but you have three levels of spiritual energy when you're in this spiritual process it's an incredible thing to be part of and I know as long as I keep my spiritual energy up, I will be okay no matter what I go through. And with spirituality, it let me know that I can enter any challenge and survive it and come out stronger. That's what I love about it. Knowing that I have my confidence back and I'm back to the me that I was always meant to be. And I'm serving my purpose and I'm doing everything that I was always meant to do. That's the best feeling about what I'm doing. I know I'm fulfilling my destiny and living in my full soul. And I can finally be happy with my life because I know I saved myself. And I was able to do what I was able to do through God and God first and God only. Because God means everything to me. Without him, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. So I just want to continue to strive and prove and strive and tell people that as long as you follow God's purpose for you and stay true and honest to your soul, you can do anything. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just being honest to my soul. 
I'm giving myself what I always wanted on the inside. Just me being honest and not running from anything anymore. I accept my life for everything I have done, everything I will do, and everything I am going to do in the future. It's like you just have to accept your life and accept that you can make your life better than what it is. You don't have to lay down and accept your life if it's not what you want it to be. But you have to be honest about what you really want and take that journey to look inside yourself and experience life. Don't run from what you know your destiny is. Accept it and go through those hard times because those hard times is what really going to grow you and make you into the man or woman you're supposed to be. If you run from everything you're supposed to do, you would never achieve anything in life. You have to run through it, not from it. That's what I learned about my journey. And the thing, the other thing I learned about my journey is life is incredible if you choose to live it the right way and own up to what you know you do wrong or you know you didn't do well and you just accept everything for what it is and keep moving forward. You know you didn't live right the right way. Apologize for it and move on and just continue to grow your soul. That's the most beautiful part about the journey. I'm continuing to grow my soul every day. And it just feels good to know that I'm growing in the right direction. Knowing that I'm serving my soul purpose. Knowing that I'm going the right way now. And I will continue to go the right way. And continue to embrace whatever challenges life have for me. Because I'm tired of running. I'm tired of not achieving. I'm after everything that I was always meant to have in my life. And I feel like I'm closer to attaining my life peace than ever before. And I just want to keep going and keep letting my soul grow into the man that I was always meant to be. It's the greatest journey I've ever taken on. And I just want to keep moving forward. I want my soul to keep growing. I want my knowledge to keep growing. I want my wisdom to keep growing. I want my power to keep growing, and I just want to keep showing the world that spirituality is a way to live life. It may not be a way most people are comfortable with, but you have to do what makes you comfortable, and you have to live in your own peace, and that's the most important thing. I used to live for everybody else, now I'm living for me, and it feels better living for myself than it ever did living for other people, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion, and that's what I wanted to share on this video. That you just have to complete your soul purpose and don't look back. Be excited about the channel. Look forward to the channel. Look forward to the power. Look forward to the wisdom. And continue to fulfill your destiny no matter what. Don't let off. This is my once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to finish what I started. And I am here to finish because I want to see what it's like to live my complete life because I've never lived it completely. I've always let something stop me. Now I feel like there's nothing in the world that can stop me because I'm confident in my spirit and I'm confident in myself. And I just want to do what I know I'm supposed to do and see what life ultimately has for me in the end. It's going to be something great, I already know in my opinion, but that's my opinion though.